Terrifying scene at one of the nation's most famous tourist destinations. One man is in custody this morning after he plowed his car into the boardwalk at Venice Beach, killing a young woman. ABC's Brandy Hitt joins us now there from Venice Beach with the latest. Good morning, Brandy. Good morning, Robin. Witnesses say the driver intentionally pulled out onto this stretch of the boardwalk with speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. And this morning, a memorial continues to grow for the young bride whose life was cut short. Captured by surveillance cameras, this morning police are now searching for the motive of 38-year-old Nathan Campbell, who they say hit the accelerator of this Dodge Avenger. Video captured by a Venice Beach restaurant shows the suspect parking his car and walking off, only to return, then taking off down the boardwalk, plowing into a crowd of people. Everybody get out the way! He was looking for blood. That guy intention was to kill people. And I mean, it was just like traumatizing to see. This man snatched a child out of danger just seconds before the car plowed into nearly a dozen bystanders. There was a girl latched onto the hood of his car just trying to stay alive. Campbell ditched the car a few miles away, then turned himself in, according to police, who are holding him on $1 million bail. They're not releasing his mugshot and are waiting to see whether alcohol or drugs were involved. He will be uh, tested and the charge was a murder. A newlywed from Italy was killed. 32-year-old Alice Gruppioni was married two weeks ago, according to an Italian newspaper. The couple toured the Southwest. Her husband, Christian, posted these Facebook photos. Describing their last moments in Venice Beach, he told the newspaper, we were happy holding hands, then everything changed. Right when I got there, she was speaking a little. I mean, but then after that, like, next thing you know, she just stopped talking. There are flowers on the boardwalk in her memory. This morning, police are calling this suspect a transient, and local city leaders say they want to install more barriers along this boardwalk to prevent another tragedy from happening again.